Tech can online community is toxic and racist. You think ATP, so? ATP, bigot. I think every online community is, which is part of the reason why. I think fighting games are so intimate, dude. That's the problem. Fighting games are so intimate. They really are. You are 1v1 with another person only, not a team. And they can behave in a way where it's unclear what their motives are. For example, you're fighting someone and having a great match, and all of a sudden they let go of the controller. And that frustrates you. It makes you so pissed. Like, what is this fucking guy doing? You've already gotten a spike. You're pissed, right? But on his end, his baby just barfed or his dog just shit on the carpet or something. And he's dealing with it, right? So look at what's happening here. Online fighting games, they've created this equation that is awful. It's awful. It's creating just anger, but it's for no reason. It shouldn't be that way. To me, it's just not a good scenario. It's too intimate to not be able to see <laughs> and you. talk to your opponent. You have to be able to see and talk to your opponent. It's too intimate for me. It feels uncomfortable, you know, for me. That's how I feel. It's the honest <laughs> truth. And that's not even including if they really are trying to do something like teabag or whatever kind of BMs they could have. That's another story. It's kind of like, you remember in the movie Demolition Man when Sylvester Stallone had sex with uh, uh, Selma Hayek? Was that Selma Hayek? I don't know who the fuck it was. But remember when they had VR sex and he didn't like it? Because it was weird. It was like this weird cyber version of real sex. He didn't like it. It was Sandra Bullock. Okay, good. Anyway, that's what it's like. Except it's not sexual. You know, if you, uh, if you know what it's like playing a fighting game one-to-one -one with a person, it's just like that. You immediately would tear off the goggles because this is fucking garbage. This is awful. You know? And it's a lot like that in the other sense, too, because Sandra Bullock didn't know any better because they don't exchange fluids anymore. That's the way they did it back in the day. And you guys are Sandra Bullock because you don't know shit about what it's like to have sex the old fashioned way. Right. All you know about is online. That's all you got. But back in the day, we used to have sex in the arcades and that shit was way better. It was so much better, in fact, that you wouldn't even do what you're doing now if you knew what it was like. You would quit. Damn, I'm catching some serious Too air bad. this I time. Just stopped smoking yesterday. Okay, boomer. That's like the most typical standard response. I could almost see it coming myself. Maybe the, I said that. Did I think that? Whatever, man. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Keep up the good work, man. I never tell people what to do. I don't know if you've noticed that. You guys are constantly telling me, play this, play that, when's this, when's that. I don't tell you what to do. I don't tell anyone what to do. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. You like Final Fantasy VII? You like Yakuza? You know, you like sucking on cocks? That's not a problem. I mean, if you count me saying shut the fuck up as telling you what to do, but then yeah, all right. Jack Miller, but you really should listen.